Hello everyone, I'm Leighton from Harvard University of Technology. Our paper is Learning Field Representations for Recommendation, a graph-based perspective. It is a joint work with Le Wu, Peng Yang Sao, Ri Chang Hong, Xi Ting Wang, and Meng Wang. We are at an age where many things have become or are becoming automated by machine learning. In practice, machine learning is good, but it can be used incorrectly. For example, campus used for recidivism prediction. Overall, this algorithm correctly predicts recidivism 61% of the time, but blacks are almost twice as likely as whites to be labeled a high risk, but not actually re-offered. Xin was found to rank less qualified male candidates, held than more qualified female candidates. This unfairness in machine learning has already hurt the benefits of the people in minority group or with sensitive attributes. To this end, fairness is becoming one of the most popular topics in machine learning. Broadly, fairness is the absence of any favoritism towards an individual or a group. Based on the intrinsic or crowd trends in the context of decision making, most approaches to mitigate unfairness or bias are based on the notion of protected or sensitive attribute. Sensitive attribute, for example, gender, race, and age. In order to achieve fairness, most of the fairness methods try to avoid unethical interference of sensitive or protected attributes. Meanwhile, increasing fairness often results in lower overall accuracy, leading to the necessity of analyzing potentially achievable trade-offs in a given scenario. I introduced some typical categories of fairness methods. Firstly, adding regularization defines fairness metric and adds it into the model as a regularization term, for example, value on fairness. Merchants in consistency in sign estimation error across the user types. Secondly, a fairness aware testing based recommendation is proposed by isolation sensitive attributes. And remaining features are regularized to keep away from sensitive attributes. A widely studied method is fail representation learning. These fail representation learning approaches learn the meaningful representation. Learning meaningful representation that maintains the content necessary for a particular task while filtering away sensitive attributes is a problem of great interest in fairness. As shown in this figure, give data x to learn representation z, then representation z needs to return the information related to predict results y. Meanwhile, representation z needs to remove the future related to protected attributes a. This processing usually formulate as an advanced min-max game. Fail representation learning has become very popular and widely studied due to the simplicity, generality, and the advance of representation learning techniques. Thus, we focus on fail representation learning for fail recommendation. Can we use it directly in recommendation? Most fairness-based representation learning assume the independence of entities and eliminate unfairness of each entity independently, without model correlations with other entities. In recommend system, users and items naturally form a user item propeltide graph and are created in the system. This correlation breaks the independence assumption in previous fairness-based models to validate this assumption. We show an example. It can be observed from this table. The attributes of the user are not only exposed through her embedding, but also through the surrounding neighbors' in embeddings. To this end, we propose fail graph-based recommendation, fail goal. Specifically, we filter sensitive attributes from user embedding FU to consider the correlation of users and items we ensure representation fairness of each user from a graph-based perspective. Then, we filter sensitive attributes from the sub-graph structure of this user, PU. Thus, fair goal is a graph-based perspective for fair-aware representation learning.
for each euro, failing is, is achieved under the advanced learning of a euro central graph. In the following, we introduce the framework of fail goal. As shown in the yellow box, each euro is representation as node level representation FU and a euro central subgraph representation PU. In detail, we build node level fairness and ego central fairness. To achieve two level fairness, we use the filter network and the discriminator network. Then we adopt advanced training techniques to achieve fairness. We argue that the fairness of well recognized system need to satisfy to go representative for user personalized performance, well fair for sensitive attributes. Thus, the objective function includes two terms in the blue box. The function is to guarantee the recommendation performance. In the yellow box, the function is to meet the fairness requirements. Next, I introduce the two goals in detail. Given the sensitive attributes, we design two level functions to consider the fairness in the filter embedding space. Firstly, the direct idea is the not level fairness. We design the value function based on the user embedding FU. Second, we design an ego central fairness. We seek to obtain an ego central graph based structural representation of each user, PU. PU is the output of the patch network that summarized user from her central graph structure. For example, PU is the average filters embedding of the local first order neighbors. This is a simple implementation of the ego central graph summary structure. This simple average aggregation does not account the different higher graph structure, so we propose two advanced aggregation. We argue that her sensitive attributes is better not explored by any layer user central graph structure representation HU. Then local value aggregation combined multi-representation. The local value aggregation needs to involve human labor to manually turn the balance parameters lambda. Thus, we propose to adopt deep neural network to learn the subgraph representation. Learning-based aggregation use a MLP to model the nonlinear aggregation of all layers for subgraph representation. To illustrate our model more intuitively, we analyze the implications of our proposed model. Given enough capacity of discriminator network, the objective function is equivalent to optimize condition entropy. The first term is to maintain the necessary information for recommendation. The second term is to make sensitive attributes and FP as irrelevant as possible. We conduct experiments on two public datasets, MovieLens and LastFM. This table shows the statistics of the two datasets. For measuring the recommendation performance, we use RMSE. For measuring the fairness goal, we calculate the classification performance and use the AUC or FE. Similar as many work for fairness model, we randomly select 18% data as ground truth and train a linear classification model. Then we test the classification accuracy on remand 20% data for fair evaluation. We report our all results in Table 1 and Table 2. In these two tables, our proposed fair goal adopts a simple ego central graph rep representation with weighted first order aggregation. When comparing these fairness aware models, Felgo JSON considers the correlation of entities from a graph perspective and reaches the best performance for both rating prediction and fairness elimination task. We would like to explore the performance under different higher order graph modeling techniques. We conduct experiments on two purposed approaches local value function aggregation and learning-based aggregation. 
as can be observed from both tables. Here, all the graph structure can achieve better fairness results. However, the here all the graph structure also introduce more wrong time and more difficulty in training processing. As there are many fairness metrics, we would show the results of our proposed model on group fairness measures. For attributes with binary values, we borrow the idea of statistical parity. For attributes with multi values, we use the idea of equal opportunity and take the standard division of equal opportunity of each euro group. In short, our proposed model achieves the best result for general attributes. Our proposed model also reaches the best result for the two group based fairness metrics on last F dataset. In this paper, we illustrate the sensitive information leakage caused by correlation through the experiments. Fair Go can obfuscate any sensitive information in the sensitive attribute set while maintaining recommendation accuracy. The proposed framework is model agnostic and can be applied to multiply sensitive attributes. If you are interested in our work, Please scan this QR code. Thank you.